What's up everybody, it's your boy Patrick, aka Midwest Dazed, here with the first review from the 2022 High Times Canvas Cup People Choice Awards for the Illinois Medical Flower Kit. But before we dive on into this review, please make sure to click that bell up in the top right hand corner and then join the community below by clicking that big red subscribe button. Would greatly appreciate that. So now that we have that out of the way, now we can dive straight into this first strain that I will be reviewing for the High Times Canvas Cup, uh, which is going to be what? It's Candy Store by Nature's Grace and Wellness. Haven't seen this strain around before, nor have I tried it, so I'm very excited that this will be my first experience of the strain. For these reviews going forward on the High Times kits, I will be going through each category the High Times is looking for in terms of judging. So that means I will be judging it based on the visual appeal, the aroma, the flavor, the burnability, effects, and the terpene profile of each strain. So let's dive right on into this. Candy Store is a cross between Lemon Berry Candy OG and Ethos Cookies number 16. Visually, I give this an 8 out of 10 as you can see behind me. It's a nice tight bud but it's got a nice uh, frost as well from its trichomes. Nice and green color, light orange hairs popping up through uh, the frost as well. However, the bud was a little bit on the drier side, so that's why I gave it that six out of, that eight out of 10. Aroma, six out of 10. Like I said, it had a slight aroma, but it wasn't overpowering where it would be distinguishable in a random lineup with other strains. So I think the dryness really affected the aroma on this. So it wasn't that strong, but it did have a nice light, earthy, and spicy undertone to it. So now let's break up this bud, grind it up, and smoke it so we can come back and talk about the flavor, burnability, effects, and the terpenes of this strain. Let's go. What's up everybody? So we got this rolled up now. We'll be talking about the flavor, burnability, the effects, and the terpene profile of this strain in this little bit. And I'll wrap it up with a nice little strain review for you guys as well. So let's spark this up and enjoy. Let's get it. Cheers everybody. Got some matches. Cause we're classy. Ha ha, ha ha ha, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, peasants and not peasants. Ah. Ooh. I'd also like to say, while I was rolling this up, when I ground it up and broke it down, it was a lot more moist inside, so I was very happy that it did have a little stick to it, and when I broke it down and ground it up, I did have a nice, stronger aroma from it because of that uh, moisture on the inside and helped it stay fresh. Uh, but it definitely had a nice, strong, earthy aroma to it, almost pungent a little bit. The smoke of this, very smooth. Very nice flavor. It's kind of sweet, kind of berry-ish. So definitely looking up more on uh, the smoking side than uh, just the visual and uh, um, initial aroma. Love of this so far though. Easy, clean smoke too. Nice white ash. Burn it even for me. It's not harsh. It doesn't leave a weird tickle or anything. Smooth smoke, smooth smoke. 
Now this is a hybrid strain, um, so I don't know what the effects of this are. All I've looked into this is what the cross was, so I could really go into all these reviews with a, you know, a clean, unbiased mindset. So I didn't scroll down to read anybody else's reviews or comments on it because I don't, I don't really believe everybody uh, else's reviews on I Heart Jane most of the time. No offense to anybody out there, I just don't give a shit about your opinion on there. This is nice though. Really enjoy this. Like I said, that sweet berryness is really sticking through. On the exhale, you get that little spiciness from the carifeline, I would say. is If I had to look up the terpene content of this uh, strain, I would definitely expect it to have some carifeline in it. That nice sweetiness, I can't decide if it's mercy or maybe linalool. I cannot decide with that one though. Very nice smoke though. Big fan. We've been smoking it what for about two minutes now. Yeah, that that flavor is very consistent. I like this strain. And I'm already feeling like when I first started this video, I was did a transplant today. You'll, you guys can see the video is going to drop on Thursday. I transplanted my Yahemi plant that's outside from a three gallon to a 10 gallon plant. Peak that episode, that'll drop tomorrow. Um, but I had a sore ass back when, after doing that and lifting the po uh, pots and soil all over. I can definitely say since Sparky this up, I've noticed the pain that I was having in my lower back and shoulders from lifting and moving around dissipate. So definitely liking this strain for that. I definitely would uh, definitely would see this strain as something I would smoke at the end of the day after a nice long day of hard work or just something anyways uh, that you need to unwind just to shut off your mind because that's another thing I'm noticing right now. My, my mind's open, it's not foggy, but It's nothing that I would say this is uh, something that I would smoke and go be active and go be social with. Um, so definitely liking this for a end of the day smoke. Hope it be relaxed. If you're looking for a good relaxation strain, this might be something for you. But, burnability, honestly, I'm gonna give it a 10. I feel like most of these will probably get a 10 on burnability. Uh, I've smoked a lot of flour in Illinois already, but outside of the cannabis cup, and most of the flour burns pretty nice at this point. Everyone seems to have gotten down their curing and drying right, so everything's got a nice burn. So I can't complain about anything on that point. Burnability, nice clean smoke, not harsh on your throat when you're smoking and inhaling. Um, flavor, I'm gonna give that about probably a seven out of 10. Again, it's got a nice flavor, but it's not the strongest stuff that I've smoked flavor-wise. You know, there's been some strain that I've smoked where it's been like, whoa, that leaves an aftertaste in your mouth. This, not so much. It does have a nice strain. I'm very happy it freshened up after I ground it up. But overall, that's where I'm going to sit with the rating on this strain. It's got a nice, fruity, sweet, floral, earthy flavor to it. Very much enjoy it. Uh, I'd like to see this batch even like fresher, which that means nothing. Right now, this was harvested back on April 19th, 2022. So this batch, honestly, is not that old for Illinois stuff. So again, I would like to see this back right after this is packaged. I bet this stuff was smacking, but right now, it's all right for me. But overall, my sh little summary of this strain, I'd say it's a nice smoke. It's a nice smoke. I'd get it again. It's a good hybrid, nice indica leaning hybrid. It's gonna be calming, relaxing, chill out, maybe play some video games and stuff, help relax any uh, inflammation. But yeah, very big fan of this stuff overall. Very, very, very pleased with this. Uh, I can't wait to drop my judge review on the High Times site for this trade. So. This has been the review and judging for Candy Store by Nature's Grace and Wellness. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Let me know if you've had this strain below as well. Please make sure to drop a thumb, uh, thumbs up or like, whatever you want to call it, on this video if you enjoyed it so far. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you get a notification for all my future uploads, because there's going to be a shit ton of these coming out in between now and September 4th, when the last day to submit your judging uh, scores in for the High Times Canvas Cup in Illinois. But until next time, peace out, positive vibes only, and stay medicated. Thanks for watching this video. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave, and then also follow me on my Instagram page for more cannabis fun. See you guys next time.